Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm doing part 2 of the vaulting and climbing up, so the parkour series. And if you haven't watched part 1, I definitely recommend going to watch that now, because you'll need some of the stuff we did there. And in that video, we did the vaulting. So I'll show you what he does now. So we can go up to this, hit V or whatever you pressed, and we'll vault, and we'll vault over, or we'll vault through a window like that. Today we're going to be doing so we can climb up onto taller objects like these. And you can jump and then vault on like that, and that works, which is quite cool as well. But we're going to do the actual climbing up in this tutorial. So let's get right into it. And to do that, we're going to go back into our third person character blueprint. So, or it could be first person, or just whatever your character is called, but you need to be in your character blueprint. So, like I say, we did all this yesterday, or in the previous tutorial, sorry. All of this, and then this is the vaulting and or getting up. So now we'll do the climbing up off of this branch here, where it says true. So where we've got the branch should play a climb. Off of false, it goes down to the vaulting. Off of true, we're going to come up and just get a sequence. And this is going to be for our climbing up. We'll just get a sequence, drag that up here, like so. And then off of this, we're going to get the line tracing for objects again. So we can just go back here, copy and paste this. So line trace for objects and make array. So just copy and paste that and plug that obviously into then zero. Move that up here a bit like that. And actually, I'll just move it over a bit more, give some space. And over here, what we're going to do is right click and get actor location, like so. Right click again and then get actor forward vector. And off the return value for the axe location, we're going to get an addition node, so a vector plus a vector. And we're just going to add 200 on the z-axis, and we'll plug that straight into the start on the line trace there. We'll move this up, and then off the return value for the get actor forward vector, we're going to get a multiplication, so a vector times a float, and we're going to set that to times 70. And we'll then off of the addition node up here, we'll get out and get another addition node, so a vector plus a vector then plug the multiplication into there as well and we'll plug this into the end like so. Just clean this up a bit, look a bit neater like that. There we go, I'll move this over just a tad like that. And so we're doing another two traces like this and we'll do another one after and this is to check that there isn't a wall above the wall we're trying to climb up on so that you can actually climb up and it's not going to glitch out and try and climb up a wall that hasn't actually got a top to it. And we're also going to do it so there's nothing above the player. So if there's a wall, but there's kind of like a roof above the player, it won't be able to climb up and glitch through the roof or anything like that. So then off the return value for this line trace, we're going to get a branch, like so, plug that in accordingly like that. And off of true, we're going to set a new variable, so let's make that. So plus variable, and we're going to call this can climb, question mark, like that, or can player climb, or anything like that along those lines. And then we'll just drag that in and set that off of the true like that and set it to false. And then we'll get another line trace for objects like this. And plug that into there. And then we'll go down here and right click and get actor location. And we'll plug that straight into the start like that. And then we'll also come off the return value and get another addition, so vector plus vector. And again, we're just going to add 200 to the Z and then plug that into the end node like that. And then we're also just going to plug the false off of this branch here into the line trace too, like that. So they both go into it. So the true goes into the set variable, then line trace, and the false goes straight into the line trace. And we're also just going to set the default value of can climb to true. So if we compile, set the default value to true, so ticked, like that. And then back down here, off of then one, we're just going to drag out and get another branch. And then for the ver for the condition, we're just going to get can climb like that. And then off of the true, we're going to set the collision and movement mode again. So we can just copy some of these nodes as it's the same. So we're doing this quite a lot. We'll just be copying from down there as it's very similar. So we'll get that and just plug that into true. So we're getting the select collision enabled, no collision, and set movement mode to flying like so. And then we're also going to going to get the set actor rotation. So over the over at the end here, set actor rotation and everything down here which goes into it. So 
So just copy that and paste it up here, and then plug that in like that. There we go. And then we're going to get set actor location off of here as well, like so. And then for the location of this, we're just going to go down here and again copy this one. So we just select all of this and copy and paste up to here and just plug all of that in to where it should be, like that. And then off of this, we're just going to get another set actor location like this. And now for this, we're going to get the wall height variable. So drag in and get, and then we'll drag off of that and break vector. And then off of the Z, we're just going to get a subtraction node. So a float minus a float. And we're going to minus 44 from it. And then we'll drag off the return value for this and make a vector. And make sure again, this goes into the Z as it is the Z that we're modifying. And then we'll just get actor location and plug and then off the return value right click split stroke bin and then plug the x and the y into there like that clean this up a little bit and then plug the return value of the make vector into the new location of this set actor location like so then after this we're just going to drag out and play anim montage like that and for the montage, we want this one to be the climb up montage. So the top one for me, like that. And then off the return value for this, we'll just drag out and get a delay so that it waits until the animation is finished playing. And then on completed, we'll get a branch with the condition of is wall thick, like so. Then off of this branch here, we're just gonna get the animation montage and the delay again. So if we copy and paste that to there and plug this into the false, like so, and then for the animation montage we're going to change it from climb up to jumping down like that and off of the completed for the delay I'm just going to drag out and we're going to set the collision enabled and the movement mode back to normal so we come down here and just copy these the copy and paste them back up here and again these are the ones going back to normal so it's set collision enabled collision enabled query in physics and set movement mode back to walking like that and then back over here, off of the true from this branch, I'm just going to drag out and we'll set these again. So copy and paste them down here. Again, off of the true, plug that in there. And this is collision enabled, querying physics. Let's set movement mode to falling, like that. And this should now be done. So if we just select all of this, like so, and comment with C, I'm just going to call this jumping up slash down like so and there we go so I'll just move this over just a tiny bit so it doesn't include the branch down there so that should be this part now done so now we're just going to create another new variable and we're going to call this is climbing and this, this is so that it stops tracing while you're climbing so that you can't do it multiple times or you break it or anything like that and then to use this properly we're just going to collapse all of this down to a macro so we can use it properly and it just looks neater it looks a lot neater than just having all of this open here so if I just select everything so select it like this and you can shift select as well to select more stuff do all of that make sure everything is selected but make sure you haven't got the input action selected as well and then right click on one of the components and just collapse the macro like that I'm going to call this vault or climb like so and now we can just move this all the way back over here as you can see this just looks a lot neater than having everything over there I'll just comment this as well and do vault slash climb there we go and then if we double click on this to open it up you can see that everything's still in here and then down over here we've got the input node here so if we just move this up drag off this and get a sequence node and then also select the input again and we're going to create an output now create an output I'm just going to call this output call it whatever you want it really doesn't matter and then the variable is going to be in execution though to the top one like so and then we'll just go over here where the output is and just move it over here 
to be with the input. So drag this over like so and we'll plug that into then one. So off of then one, go to output. And then off of then zero, I'm just gonna drag out and get a branch. Make sure that's all still plugged in like that, but make sure it's off of the false, not true. So off of false, plug that into the line trace. And then the condition for this, I think it's gonna be the is climbing variable we just made. So it should look something like this. And then we're just gonna set this on different locations so they all worked out. So the first one we're going to do is by the vaulting. So just before we set the collision, enabled and all of that, we want to just get is climbing and then set it, plug that into there, plug it, the false into there like that, move that over, and we're going to set it to true here so we make sure you tick it. And then off of, go back up here, off of the climbing. So just before the can climb branch here, so just after the branch here, sorry, where it says can climb before we set the collision, off of the true again, we're just going to set is climbing and once again set it to true so it should look like this make sure everything is plugged in and then we're going to go over here to where we have the set movement modes and we're just going to again drag it in and set is climbing plug that into both of these like that I'm just going to drag the comment out a bit and we want to make sure we set this one to false so leave it unchecked like that and then one final one that we do is the movement mode down here again. So we'll just drag this out and again, set is climbing. And again, leave this one at false, so unchecked like that. Now this part is done, but we're just gonna change a little bit in one of the animation montages to make it look a slight bit better. So this is done and go back to the event graph here. It looks very neat and tidy. So if we minimize this and go back to our animations, so I put mine in parkour folder, I'm just gonna open up our jumping down from wall montage. So what we're going to do with this is just speed up the rate of scale up to 1.5. You mess around with this, we'll leave it as it was if you want, but I personally find it looks a lot better sped up a little bit, so 1.5, 1.75, 2, anything like that. And again, obviously this isn't necessary, but it does just make it look better. So we can now save and close that. And actually also one last thing in the volatile climb macro again, where we have the jumping down montage, we've just changed it, we now want to change the delay again, so it should be up here. Here it is, yep. So then for the delay, we're just going to unplug the return value there and just set it to one second, like so. And now this should all be done. So we can save this, minimize it, and hit play to test it out. If we walk over here, we can install Volto for all of these. And now if we do this, we can climb up onto the boxes too. So you see that doesn't work, but if we jump, we can vault up like that. And this works perfectly. So we can vault over things and then climb up onto them as well. And you can see that it does a little jump when it lands like that. And I think that's because we said it to be is falling. And by default, if character is falling, it will play the jump animation. So let's fix that. So we just go back into our third person character. And here where it says new movement mode falling, if we actually just change it back to walking, this should fix the issue. So we compile, close this. Try and climb up onto something. You can see it no longer does that, which works out perfectly. So we can now climb up onto things as well as vault. So let's vault over this, vault back through the window, and then climb over this wall. So we can jump and climb like that. And this works perfectly. We can see that if it's thin as well, it should automatically climb back down as well. So I just duplicate this, rotate it a bit, and I scale it to how I want it to be. You should see that it should climb back over if this is thin enough. So we can climb over and then go straight back down like that. Works out perfectly. Climbs over, straight back down. We just climb up onto this wall. This is a bit thicker. Jump down ourselves. Climb up onto this and vault over these. So this works out perfectly. We have our own parkour set up so we can vault over and through things and then we can climb up and over walls. So this works out perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've set up our climbing in this video and the vaulting in the previous video and it works perfectly. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.